yeah hi we are from svs embedded the project title name is sensors data monitoring on website through adreno gprs and iot so here i am using an adreno uno r3 smd board and one five sensors i am using temperature sensor smoke sensor or gas sensor mq2 uh, fire ldr and one pir sensor proximity infrared detector light dependent resistor and one max 232 and one gprs modem i am using gprs module sim 800l so this is my website www.svsembedded.com/home this is block diagram so here 16 cross 2 lcd display and four three relay coils one relay coil ldr when the uh, light is dim that uh, orange color led should be on and if uh, temperature is high driver ac one dc fan if gas alert smoke alert uh, led trips red led indication if fire alert alarm so here it is not using so if uh, pir is detected red led so this is entire block diagram section so let us going into the circuit diagram of the project adreno uno r3 and i am using three adcs adc0 adc1 adc2 so lm35 mq2 and one ldr these are the adcs and these are the port pins means input pins fire and one pir adreno uno r3 so 16 cross 2 lcd display so 12 11 rs enable d4 d5 d6 d7 port third pin it is connected to the orange led means relay fourth fifth first pin we are sending the data to gprs means gsm modem dc fan so here uh, we can observe the data remotely through my website www.svsembedded.com/home okay so if you are outside in your mobile phone you have an internet connectivity you can observe the all sensors data and pc so show underscore data dot php anyone can watch this so ldr smoke temperature fire pir so you can observe here also so anywhere in the remote location internet connectivity system you can observe svs embedded dot com dot com slash bulbs show underscore data dot php okay so these are the temp ldr smoke temperature fire and pir okay so here uh, let's uh, coming into the hardware part so i am using an, a transformer source bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator regulator and one led power supply section so here i am using an adreno uno r3 board smd board so the, these are the adcs adc0 adc1 adc2 3 4 5 so here we we have a sensors uh, lm35 temperature sensor minus 55 degree centigrade to 150 and one mq2 gas sensor and one ldr sensor and one pi uh, 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 fire sensor and one pir sensor proximity infrared detector these are the five input parameters three are the adcs and two are the digital pins and here one max 232 uh, txd pin it is connected to the max 232 ic and it is connected to the gprs modem so here i am using an sim card ta tata sim card i am enabling the internet i recharge with the uh, internet of 250 and something so so you can use the internet option so we are enabling the gprs settings settings and we are uh, sending the data to http to my website www.svsembedded.com and the output units are three relay coils orange red red orange if ld if light is dim 
light is dim means light if light is dark led is on means bulb on if if room if room is dark light is on like that if the temperature is high so suppose 50 and above or 60 the fan will be cold dc fan so here the dc fan so here i am not using the buzzer that uh, port to zero no, ports, port pins are not available those are that's way so i was connected but it is not uh, running you are uh, zero a pin so here a uh, smoke if the smoke is detected then led is on if pir is detected then led is on every five seconds all the data is sending to my server now i'm going to give the power supply to the board just enabling and disabling the pins yes on and off now it is in it is enabling the commands to the gprs so 80 80 plus cmgs and 80 plus cg att uh, http like that it will enabling all the commands to the gprs setting then once the gprs is enabled enabled it will uh, go for the census data it will take the census input and it will show the census input onto the cell lcd and same data should be sent to server http starts gpr starts and http starts then temperature sensor temperature is 30 smoke ldr no file no pir alert then we can see the data onto the screen okay refresh okay so 12th is the 12 12 is the date today date 8th month 2016 no pir no fire temperature 30 smoke and ldr whatever we are observed on the lcd the whole data is sending to our server remote server or remote phone anywhere you, you can go for the this link iot link means in my web server website svsembedded.com uh, my php code is there in that php code we are sending the data that data is plotting on the uh, blocks suppose so P, pir is detected pir led is on so pir alert now i am going to give the fire next next i am giving the fire 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 alert fire alert actually fire alarm alarm is not there so we can observe on the screen show underscore data dot php yeah fire alert yes so next we are going for the smoke next we are going for the smoke we are giving the smoke to smoke sensor or gas we are giving the butane sensor otherwise we can give the okay i'm giving the smoke i'm giving the temperature temperature is increasing temperature 53 i think i given 60 pir detected okay we will observe the smoke alert first room temperature is uh, low uh, ldr is dark smoke smoke detected no light okay no light led is on ldr smoke pir i think i given the 55 and above i think 60 degree Seventy-four. Fan on. No smoke. No PIR. And we can see the output onto the screen. Refresh. 
okay now the temperature is 74 no fire okay uh, at that time fire alert was smoke alert 200 and above that led is on okay uh, led la, n there is no ldr ldr is 200 and below light on temperature 74 and above fan on if uh, pir is detected that led is on if fire detected then it uh, uh, buzzer should be on so this is all the data we are plotting on to the uh, server and the uh, date today is the 12th date okay today is the 12th friday and we can see the data here is the 12th 8 2016 so we can observe this all census data onto the screen so this is a census data monitoring on Arduino GPRS IoT please subscribe for more videos on SVS embedded thanking you bye